Greetings, and welcome to the Remote Diffusion Cell Lab. This lab has been developed to demonstrate the principles of diffusion and mass transfer. It is a recorded remote lab that utilizes real laboratory equipment and outputs real data. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the setup process for a run. As the setup is the same for each run, aside from this introductory video, each experimental run or repetition does not display the setup involved. In order to set up for an experimental run, the following materials are needed. Diffusion cell experimental equipment, namely the vessel for the distilled or deionized water, the diffusion cell, the conductivity probe, and meter with attached cord a stir bar and stir plate, one liter beaker or other one liter volumetric glassware, a one liter beaker for your deionized water, deionized or distilled water, a syringe, a balance, weigh boats, stirring rod, scupula, sodium chloride crystals, potassium chloride crystals. Once all the materials are gathered and ready, weigh out the appropriate number of grams of salt for the desired molarity to be added to one liter of deionized water. Pour the salt crystals into a one liter beaker. Add deionized water to the one liter line on the beaker. Stir the salt manually using a stirring rod. Stir until all of the salt crystals are fully dissolved in the water. At this point, we add food coloring to the salt solution only to differentiate between the deionized water and the salt solution and also to designate the different salt solutions. We will use blue for sodium chloride or NaCl and we will use red for potassium chloride or KCl. Now pour one liter of water into the diffusion vessel and turn on the stir plate. Put the stirrer bar into the diffusion vessel making sure that it is at the bottom. Carefully fill the diffusion cell with approximately 10 milliliters of salt solution or until the solution reaches the capillaries of the diffusion cell. Being careful to avoid air bubbles. Note this part is done with the diffusion cell outside of the vessel. For this experimental run, the speed will be set at 450 RPM. Slowly and carefully place the diffusion cell into the diffusion vessel to begin the experiment. Once the diffusion cell is submerged, 
the experimental run has begun and you can begin collecting your data. In real time, each experimental run has a duration of 30 minutes. This ends the introductory portion of the diffusion, the remote diffusion cell lab.